My house burned to the ground, along with almost every penny I had. There was even some trouble with the cops, but Eddie took care of that. And since I didn't have any insurance, I had to live in this shithole of an apartment till I could get back on my feet. At least I managed to save Leo. He disappeared without a trace. I doubt Frank Vinci even knew where he went. And even though Henry failed to deliver on the contract, Eddie still brought him in when he heard Leo had skipped town. Me and Joe had a new partner. Hey, here we come. Who's this guy we're gonna see him? His name's Bruno. He's one of the only guys in town who could do a loan this big. What if he doesn't give it to us, then what? Then the deal's off. But don't worry, I know this guy. He'll give us the money. There ain't nobody else we can get this kind of money from? There's three of the guys I know of. 
But if you want to ask Carlo or Frank Vinci for 35 grand, be my guest. Yeah, no thanks. Who's the third guy? He ain't in business no more. Somebody blew up a room full of his guys and shot him point blank in the face with a Tommy gun. Oh, that guy. Come on, we said we wasn't gonna talk about that. All right, so, Ham, what is this guy, rich or something? I think he gets his money from some of the bosses from out of town who sit on the commission. Yeah? No shit. Yeah, which is why we can't stiff the guy. Besides, we gotta keep this quiet. Can we trust him? Sure, wise guy's been borrowing money from this guy forever. As long as we pay him back on time, we won't have a problem. Okay, this is it. Stop here. Oh, excuse me. My fault. Job. Of course. I told you to give us the dough, didn't I? How come you know the Bible so good, Henry? You read it or something? Bruno always uses the same quote. I go to church on Sunday, so I ask the priest for food. You go to church? <laughs> yeah, and I can understand why you don't. They use big words, there's no hookers, and the fool's lousy. Yeah, that pretty much sums it up. Jeez, I ain't been there since... 45. What? That time your mother made you go to confession? Yeah, that time she smacked me for checking out some chick's cool. Nah, I gotta rest his soul. How about you, Joe? How long's it been? Easter. Ah, that ain't too bad. 1941. I take that back then. You're going straight to hell. What, you just figuring that out now? Don't worry, I'll save seats for the boat deals. You know, I heard about a long shot named Bruno once. Must be the same guy. Yeah? What'd you hear? Well, you know Mickey the Crab, right? What, the guy who cleans the bathrooms at Carlos joint? Yeah, the guy who's only got a finger and a thumb on his left hand. Guess how that happened. I heard he owed a lot of money to some yid from Southport. You get my drift? Oh, right. I get the picture. Haha, <laughs> don't worry, though. Crab's a moron. Nothing like that's gonna happen to us. Drive through the gate and into the yard. All right, follow me, fellas, and let me do all the talking. Hey, we got some business with your boss. Greetings, Mr. Thomasino.
Alright, fellas, the hot pot's over. Now we just gotta make the exchange and we're done. Sounds good to me. Where we headed? Hunters. I got it all lined up. Vito, here we go. All right, Vito, here we go. Come out of your hole, you fucking rat. I won't want to get on your bad side. How another one bites the dust? Let's go, Vito. Bullseye. Fucking close. It's not over yet. They're coming after us. Fuck! Loose! I got you! Come on! Come on! 
Idea. Somebody else must have known about the deal. Those definitely weren't real cops. Maybe it was the chinks trying to fuck us. Nah, I doubt it. Look, I'll figure it out. But first, we gotta unload this stuff. Vito, take us to the old warehouse and hunt us. Right. Hope this deal goes better than the last one. It will. Not like it can go any worse, right? So who are we selling the stuff to? A bunch of different guys. Oh, whoa, whoa. What do you mean a bunch of different guys? A bunch of different guys. What all that shooting back there make you deaf? I thought you said we were just moving this garbage from one place to another. Yeah, well, you make a lot more money if you sell it in smaller amounts. Would have been really nice to know before I agreed to go in on this. If I did, from the way you were talking back in the park, you probably wouldn't have. Yeah, exactly. Hey, the best you could hope for right now is to spend the next 30 years of your life breaking your ass for Eddie and Carl before you either get bumped off or end up back in the game. The only time you're ever going to see cash like this is if you stick your neck out. Besides, I ever steer you wrong? Well... There was the OPA job. And that time we almost got killed when we were that fat fucking sand island. All right, all right, enough. None of that matters after today. Let's just get the hunters. And don't worry, we're never gonna have to see these scumbags again after today. Unless this turns into a regular thing for us. Well, all right, let's just concentrate on getting through this one before we go making plans like that, all right? Hey, I'm just saying. Vito's right. Let's just get through the rest of the day. After that, smooth sailing, fellas. Let me do the talking. These are tough guys, so no wise-ass comments. All right, Joe? 